All right, so what to do, see y'all, let's go to the book, Chris Bell, with another video, man, as y'all can see, we back with another video, man, we're gonna react to two, Soluminati ex-girlfriend, ass, exposes him, plus ass response to DDD rumors, hey, man, let's get straight into the video, by the way, y'all, I got a special video coming for y'all, hopefully within this week, if not for sure next week, but I got a special video coming in for y'all, I'm very excited, just know something happened, my life, I'm very happy, but, yeah. Get that video coming in for y'all soon. But anyways, let's get straight to it. It's so tiring. Like, I'm tired. Like, but it's like, I'm tired of Stay sanitized, by the way, man. Like Especially in this I pandemic. Stay sanitized. Content, my attacks are, you know, yeah, yeah. like, very This girl heavy. got a face tan like, And obviously, That's I, have I see that she didn't have a face tan. Like, he made a spiritual channel. In. I personally hate him. Hate is a strong word. <laughs> Hey man, it's your boy the Extra Plug, and today we got a lot to talk about. So today we're gonna be talking Shout about Solomon Ash and a little bit of DDG. But the first topic, you know, you know, there's multiple topics to this one situation. So Solomon Nighty's ex girlfriend went on Instagram Live, and she had a lot to say. So basically, what she was saying was how she doesn't like doing spiritual videos no more because she feels like she's gonna get hate and she feels like she's gonna get attacked because of what of her doing spiritual videos. And she kind of made it seem like the reason why is because of Solomonati fans. Solomon, like, does she not realize literally any video she posts, she's going to get hate for if it has anything to do with OnlyFans? All right, that's that. Let me take that back. She's not going to get hate for any video she posts. But if she does those type of videos where she's obviously trying to get views, showing her, you know, showing her butt and, you know, making how to how to make money on OnlyFans videos, you're going to get hate on those nice. type of videos. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. And you're going to get hate on the spiritual videos, too. And it's not because of Solomon Nighty's fan. It's because you have an OnlyFans and you're trying to make it seem like you're spiritual when really you're not. Because if you were spiritual, you would not have an OnlyFans. But the argument could be made. If she wasn't, if she didn't have an OnlyFans, she would not be able to live this lavish lifestyle. Another thing she said. We're going to juggle between these two topics. Another thing she said. She said she hates Solomon Nighty. You can't hate somebody. Who gave you this lifestyle? Let's be honest. If it wasn't for Solmanati, you would still be in the military. You still be working a regular job. There's nothing wrong with being in the military, but we got you got to respect what Solmanati did for you. Solmanati nice. made your life a lot easier because sure. Solmanati gave you the key to make all this money. His fans are forever gonna follow you because I'm sure that you know there's some thirsty like Solmanati has thirsty fans. Solmanati has a variety of fans. He you know some I'm sure most of his fans still follow you, and I'm sure some of his fans are subscribed to your OnlyFans. You can't, you can't like, all right, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it seem like you can't hate somebody just because they did. But like you, if you go, you got to respect what he did for you. If it wasn't for him, you would not be able to be making all this money. Literally. She, the whole thing about her is she tries to make it seem like she's spiritual when really she's not. But what, but she, she was spiritual at a point in time. Let's, 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 let's talk about that. She was spiritual at a point in time. When Solomonati and Ashley first met, and she and Solomonati called it his first female collab, they made a video. She was pretty much putting Solomonati on game about you know the spiritual stuff and stuff like that. And you know I respect her for that. You know I, I respect her you know putting him on something new. Facts. I respect her doing that. But that's contradicting At the time, herself. And I know, How is she but put this him could, on? this this could be the argument. They nah, ruined each other her. in a way. Traffling. Like I said, Solomonati's his best self. I'm just and let's just look at it from a fan's perspective. They ruined each other. Before, Ashley was a um, spiritual being. She just posted spiritual videos and stuff like that. Was not into showing none of her body. Was not on That's social tough. media like that. Solomonati, on the other hand, was posting videos every week. He was always, you know, he was posting videos pretty frequently. And, you know, his videos were a lot more enjoyable. His videos are still enjoyable to watch, but it's not as enjoyable when you know you're not going to see another video for months. For months ahead. Facts. Solomonati posted a lot more often. Stuff like that. So a lot of the argument could be, yeah, they ruined each other, but they also, you know, somebody improved. Ashley ruined herself. Ashley used to be spiritual. Now she's an OnlyFans money hungry thought. And um, that's cool. I'm not saying like you got like, but you can't you can't like this. This is an example that females have it so much better than dudes. All they got, they all they got to do is just, you know, post a butt on post post a butt and chest on OnlyFans. And they gonna make a freaking bag off of it. They gonna nice. make they gonna make a bag off of doing that. Us men, us men, we have to work hard for to get a bag. Females could just use their body. Yeah. But 
before that, she was not doing none of that. But as soon as she started talking to Slow Minotti, we started seeing more of, you know, more of the, you know, her showing her body, more, which, which is cool. But, you know, she's not what she was before. She was, she's not, I can't, cons I can't consider her spiritual no more. But I can't say she did put Slow Minotti on a spiritual stuff. She did. Okay. I can't give her credit for that, but I can't say that she's still Ooh, spiritual now. And that's the whole reason why she would get hate if she posted a video because video. she's not Hopefully. spiritual. She can't it. like you can't you can't have an only fan to be spiritual. Real, That's just man. not how it works. If you remember you what I said, the beginning. And she used to work at a nightclub. Video. But you know, I don't If y'all remember what I said in my first video of this channel, man, you'll be able you'll be able to know what probably figure out what I got. But just know. Maybe this week, this weekend, something. This is a new video's coming, banger. And make sure to go like that video once it comes out. You'll know when it's coming out. You don't know when it's up. If she worked at a nightclub, then she not spiritual, bro. If she used to work at a nightclub or is she working at a nightclub right now, who knows? She not spiritual, bro. Spiritual females, they don't I mean, be showing off their body like that. You, you're not spiritual if that's money. the case. I'm going to just put spiritual, that out there. Just, Another the thing I want to talk do, about make money, so I is know. I know y'all seen the title, Responded DDG Rumors. So let me, let me tell y'all something about Ashley. It is really easy to get a response out of her. The thing about it is when she's on Instagram Live, when she's on Instagram Live, a lot of people be spamming people's names. And people were spamming DDG's name, and she pretty much felt like everyone was ignoring the point of what she was talking about. Because, bro, no one takes what she says serious. They just be ignoring everything she says. And she got mad and angry and pretty much was talking crazy, said she's going to bang her head. Make, she, she, you guys make her want to bang her head and stuff like that. I feel like she really needs help. You know, I don't feel like mental like mental illness is anything to joke around with, but she obviously needs help because any normal person would not say something like that. It is definitely not normal for her to be saying stuff like that, to be honest with y'all. And obviously, she's not going to address it. She That was her response to the whole thing when people kept responding, like, spamming DDG's name. Because they seen that at work when they, when they spammed Solomonati's name. So now they spamming DDG's name. You smash DDG, you smash DDG. And that was her response. She felt like her fans were pretty much ignoring the whole point of what she was saying. But of course, everyone's going to disregard what she's saying. She has an OnlyFans, and she's trying to speak on being spiritual and woke, and Sobanati being spiritual and woke. She can't really involve herself in that conversation when you have an OnlyFans. And I understand OnlyFans is how you make money, but don't put yourself in the same topic of being spiritual or woke because you're not those things. You're never, you're not, you're never going to be those things until you stop doing what you're doing. And I doubt you are because that's how you make your bread. And I got, and that's cool. But yeah, so when people seeing that, she gave a response to. Um, so Minotti, of course they're gonna spam DDG. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, really let me know what y'all think in the comments, comments man. Extra plug really out. You know, like it, at this point, it's it's easier just, just so to many... like not talk about it. It is my oh, passion, so many... but now I just DMs I don't give cases. away that information as People freely me. as oh, I was stuff, so. before. Just because, like you know, like and obviously it has to do with my ex and like the platform. He kind of you know. Uh, like he made a spiritual channel and kind of like emulated that as well. The thing, the thing about it is, even though I personally hate him, hate is a strong word, but I will go ahead and say that word. There's only two that I hate, and it's my ex husband and my ex boyfriend. Those, I'm saying I hate him, but all that aside, he still has influence to the demographic that I care about. That. I don't try to knock him because he talks about that whatever spiritual like whatever like I want everybody to to better themselves in whatever way that comes whether I'm saying it him saying it somebody else is saying it that's fine you know like but I just don't feel like unfortunately the way he set it up he felt like he needs to like knock me and doing it so it, it, it it's 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 just something I really need to um, put out sparingly because when I do, I feel heavy attack. So that's why. I'm talk. I want to punch a wall. I know I have a chemical imbalance because when I'm at my worst, I'd be punching walls and like banging my head in walls. And I know that's not normal, but you guys are about to make me bang my head in a wall because I swear to God, what I just said fell on deaf ears. Because it was pretty important. But anyways, um, bye. All 
Alright, so that's gonna be in the video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. It's gonna be the first source for new content. Trust me, y'all gonna wanna turn on them post notifications now for this video that's gonna be coming up. But, anyways, man, it's your boy CCR out.